everybody. It's Angie QTP 777 Hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, y'all doing fantastic out there. It's, uh, we're just um, getting ready for fall here. Oh, the temperature's going to be dropping tonight. And um, anyway, some of you probably know I just recently got diagnosed with sleep apnea, obstructive sleep apnea. What is sleep apnea? Well, when you go to sleep at night, all your muscles relax and whatnot, and um, and um, that includes your muscles that help you breathe. And I've got a little bit of a narrow airway there, you know, it's probably because I'm not the most healthy person. I guess we're different story going on. But anyway, I've I've never smoked or anything, never drank. I'm just a little on the chunky side, and I've got sleep apnea, and basically. With a narrow airway, and um, with that and the relaxing muscles, it makes um, breathing difficult because the air really can't get through to, you know, to my airway to my lungs. So um, that's why in the daytime I feel sleepy, and because I have actually what's called hypopnea, in which I um, don't completely breathe. You know, I take really, really short breaths. You know, I'm not getting enough oxygen to my brain, and that's why. I'm Sometimes it feels so tired. Oh, boy, just sitting in front of my computer, listening, um, looking at spreadsheets, and just listening to my screen reader joining for hours can be a real tiresome thing. And uh, so, um, anyway, I'm going to show you. This is a two-part series here. I'm going to show you all my new mechanical sleeping buddy, the CPAP. Okay, this. This is my CPAP. It stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. And this is the machine itself, and this is the long elephant tubing or vacuum hose. And you'll see how it all works in my second part of the video. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown here. You know, this is the main console of the machine here. This is the knob that allows you to um, change any information. Well, some some things I can't change. I have um. It's usually set to, uh, by default, it would always go to therapy, in which um, the pressure has been set by my doctor, which is 8 centimeters. I believe it's called a hydrate. I'm still going to do some research, but um, anyway, I cannot change the pressure settings of the machine. That's something only my doctor can do. But I'm just going to turn it on just to see. Yeah. So you really can't hear much, can you? No, it's just it's just pressurized air blowing through um the tubing here. But, uh, okay, sure that felt good. Okay, but um there's um there's a couple little things on here. There's a see that light there? It's, I know it's a little glare, but that's that allows me to adjust the humidity settings on there because gotta have a little moisture in the air there. So the higher the number goes, the warmer the water inside will go. And you'll see how it all works. But yeah, you got to have a little humidity. And this little button here, this is called the ramp button. And what that does is when I poke myself to my machine up for the first, you know, for the first few minutes, um, I'm going to turn it off here. You know, if I were to turn it on, I'm going to turn it back on and then press the ramp button. And what that does is that um, will start the pressure off low at its lowest setting, which is 4, and then it'll gradually go up to 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, etc., 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 and then after about 20 minutes, it'll be at its correct setting, which is 8. So that way I won't feel that really forced air blowing into my nose or mouth or however I choose to breathe. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for now. But anyway, this is... Uh, Okay, I'm going to gently take this out there. This is the water chamber. And it's, uh, well, let me turn around this way here. This is the, this is the water chamber. This is our humidifier, however you want to call it. And it's, uh, got distilled water in it. My, uh, technician says it's better to have distilled water in it versus tap water or spring water because there's, um, you don't have so much mineral buildup in there because if you get a lot of mineral buildup it can um spell infection and that can spell trouble. 
and I got plenty of instructions already. But um, and this is a, and I got a little card on the back. There's a little. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. There's a little card on the back there. That's just to collect. That's just to keep all the data on. And um, because every few months I got to take an evaluation survey. And that way my doctor can look at the data that's on the card. Isn't that wonderful? I didn't even know that. Oh, get in there. Okay. Should be in there. And uh, this is, of course, what I call my, this is the air hose or elephant tubing as I call it sometimes. And, um, yeah, I know it looks a little frightening, doesn't it? I know it. And this is. This is the mask I normally wear. In the second video, you'll see me with the mask on and how I put it on. This is my nasal mask. It just, it's got to fit really, I know it looks a little cumbersome. Trust me. I, I know that, you know. But, um, it, um, it's, this has to go over my nose. And it's got to be pretty tight fit. And when I'm wearing my nasal mask, oops, oops, oh, 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 sorry. I uh, I also have to wear this. This is my chin strap, and what that basically does is just basically um, you know aligns my jaw to the proper position because you know, and it also just kind of forces my mouth closed too, and to you know, so that way I don't have any. I mean, it basically forces the breathe from my nose. I'm still learning. I'm, I'm an amateur at this, so. Don't criticize me, please. Yeah, I still have a lot to learn and whatnot. But, um, that's basically it for, um, the CPAP. And, um, I said in the next video, I'll show you how I connect myself up to my new sleeping partner and how I use it. So, good night, y'all.